Yo, 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 what up, what up, what up? This is Toby with O-Line Security, and we are back with another Cert Master Lab for Security Plus 701. In this lab here, we're going to be going through the incident response process, not the entire process, but the detection phase. All right, we're going to be detecting, also known as identifying, malicious activity. All right, it's no better way to learn but to jump right into it. So let's go ahead. All right, they give a nice explanation of what we're about to get into over here. All right, some more detailed explanation on the tool we're about to use. But I think the best way to see more about the tool is to just log in. So you know the username, you know the password. Let's get it. First thing we're going to do when we log in is going to open up a terminal. And we're going to create a password list by adding password into the 57th line of this file. All right, cool. So open up your terminal. And we're going to, I'm pretty sure it's going to be some type of said command. Oh, yeah, wrong one. There we go, yep. We're gonna use a set command to add password to the 57th line of something. So let's just go ahead and do it. We'll explain it as we go, right? We're using the set command to add something to the 57th line of a file. What we're adding is this word password. Okay, we're adding it to this file called 500 worst passwords.txt. And we're going to save everything into a new file called passlist.txt. So what are we doing right here? We're going to go ahead and add the word password to the 57th line of this file right here. And we're going to save everything inside of this passlist.txt. We can double check and make sure it's in there. We can just go ahead and grab, let's grab, uh, let's do dash N. And, oh, it's right there. They have it right here for us. All right, dash N, P, A, dollar, dollar, W, U, R, D. We're going to grab that out of that line, out of this pass list file. What are we doing? We're just finding, we're trying to find this phrase inside of here. And it gave us the line number because we did the dash in. So yes, we did that right. Let's go next section. All right. Now we're going to access the wazoo. Okay. We're going to access that platform. Let's go ahead and open up our browser. We're going to go to 10.1.16.242. All right, and it's going to bring us over to that application. Password is there. The username is admin. Password is PA question mark question mark W zero R D. All right. All right. Once this loads up, we're going to go and check out some of the security events on this application. All right. Wazoo is a pretty cool security tool. You can use it to identify malicious activity. You can use it to monitor, monitor things. You can use it for auditing purposes. Right now, we're gonna go over here to security events. All right, we're gonna go to security events. We're gonna take a look at some of the events over here. Before we get started, I'm gonna refresh this one more time. We have a total of 136 events, all right? If we scroll down a bit, you can see all of the events that are coming in. We can see that they're coming in from DC10. They're coming in from PC10. Now, a quick look at these columns. We have a column for the time of when the event happened. The agent, I believe the agents are going to be split up by the PCs, right? Then we have the agent name. We have the technique, right? The technique, the type of technique that's being used per attack, all right? And then we have the tactic, right? The tactic from that they may be using in order to conduct their attack. We have a description of what's going on. Right, and it may not be an attack. I keep saying attack, it may not be an attack. It may just be a log on or a log off. Right, the level, I, I, it's being categorized. This may be severity levels, and then we have the rule number. Right, if we click into one, let's click into this one. I'm gonna click into this one because it has all the fields here. If we click into one, we can see some more of the same information. Right, we can look at the rule, get some information about the rule. Right, you can get some info. Uh, I prefer to look at this stuff in JSON. It's a little bit, well, it's a lot more cleaner to me. But we're just looking at this table. Everything here, we can look at it in JSON as well. Right, we're looking at the alert. Okay, this alert was fired off of DC10. Okay, you see the the ID number, the IP address, and we can see what happened. An account was successfully logged on. It's the same thing we're seeing over here on the table. All right, so I'm going to close this and let's get back to it. That was just a high level overview of what we're going to be using. Okay, high level overview of what we're going to be using. I believe this techniques and tactics are coming from MITRE. 
I believe they are coming from MITRE.org. If you've never been there, MITRE.org is a pretty cool website that hosts a bunch of different APTs, which is a threat group that hosts the APTs, the techniques that they usually use, the tactics that they usually use as well. All right, let's see, where are we? Scroll down to security events, we've done that. Scroll back to the top, refresh, okay. Leave the browser open. All right, now we're gonna conduct a password attack. We're gonna use Hydra to conduct a password attack. And Wazoo should be able to detect that. All right, so we're gonna use Hydra. Here's the command we're gonna use. Hydra dash T one dash capital D dash F dash L administrator dash capital P. This command is case sensitive, so please make sure that you're typing in everything the correct way. All right, so what we're doing is we're going to use Hydra to try to log into this machine. Right, we're gonna use Hydra to try to log into this machine. We want Hydra to try to access this machine using RDP, okay? We're using the administrator account and we want the we want Hydra to try every password in this list. So go. This is gonna try every password in that list until it gets to a successful password. If it gets to a successful password. You can see all the passwords that it's trying to do. Okay, and it should get it right, right here on number 57. Okay, that is the password. All right, sweet. Now we're gonna go back to Wazoo and check it out. I'm gonna scroll up to refresh. We went from 136 to 244. We got 56 authentication failures, 74 successes, right? If we look at this right here, this looks like a new one. Yeah, when no log on success, look at the JSON rule. Somebody successfully logged into DC 10. DC 10's IP address is 10.1.16.1. All right, cool. Let's look at the instructions. What do they want us to do? View the security alerts resulting from the password guessing attack. Find the entry rule of this ID. Let's see. Let's see if we can search off of this. Okay, we got something. Rule ID, here we go. Right, this is the successful remote logon detected. All right, we, yep, same thing that we found. Scroll down, we see the real ID. Right, so view the technique information related to this real ID. What is the MITRE attack technique associated with this event real ID? The MITRE attack technique, are we looking at the right real ID? 92652652. Yes, okay, sweet. We're going to drill into this. Let's click this technique. And we can see the technique ID right here is a pass the hash technique ID. So they think the tool believes this is the attack that's happening. Pass the hash. All right, so let's go back. Go back. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to just hit. Actually, I'm going to hit this hamburger button and then we're going to select home. And I'm gonna go back to security events. All right, um, also what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select explore agent and I'm just gonna filter for DC 10. All right, I only wanna see events going to DC 10. All right, next we gotta look for this rule ID, 60122. To look at the failed attempt, 00122. We saw the successful attempt. Let's look at the failed attempts. These are all the failed attempts that our password cracker tried to do. We're detecting that with this Wazoo tool. It's being identified, it's being detected. This is one of the phases of the incident response process. Right? You would you, the SOC analyst, you the security analyst, you an analyst, you would be logged into this tool looking to see what has been detected. It's your job to go and rule this out as a true positive or false positive. 
right? Just because they told us, what Zoo told us it was a past the hash attack doesn't mean it actually happened, all right? Uh, maybe it did. It's our job to determine if it's a true positive or a false positive. All right, now we're going to do something else. We're going to try to log in to a share drive as Jamie. All right, so we're going to minimize this, go back to our command prompt. We're going to have to mount something first, right? We're going to have to make make this directory. We're going to call it DC10-C. And then we're going to mount, whoops, mount. What am I doing? Make dir mount DC10-C. Mounder cannot create directory. Why can't I create that directory now? Uh, why can't I do that? Let's make sure. I don't think I should have to do sudo. So let's just try it. make their mount DC 10 dash C. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not even sudo su i'm gonna do sudo su okay i i had to sudo su up to root i wasn't root maybe that was part of the instructions was to go over to root all right so we got that dir there i'm gonna remove it and do it again i'm gonna do it one more time make dir mount bc 10-c cool now we're going to go ahead and mount something to that username jamie 10.1.16.1 i think let's see yeah that one all right cool so we're going to try to mount this c drive to our location to our mount point using Jamie's account. So we're gonna to try to do this. We're gonna to try to use the password, Jamie's password, it fails. All right, we're gonna do it again, but we're gonna log in with the administrator. Same thing, but logging as the administrator, use the password that's provided, it was successful. All right, cool. Now we're gonna switch back. Here's the password if you missed it. For, for the admin. All right, we're gonna switch back. Let's go back here. Let's refresh this. All right, now we have to locate the security events caused by the mount. We already have 60122 over here. This is probably the bad attempt. Yep, this is the bad attempt right here. This is our Cali machine. This is our IP address. We were trying to access something on this box. All right, I'm gonna scroll back up. Switch this to 60106, right? Cause that's what it is right here. Scroll down too far. And this is probably the successful attempt. I like to look at it in JSON. And yeah, right, Kerberos, except Kerberos is the authentication service here. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Account was successfully logged on. Cool. And we can see the account that we were, the account, the, the server we were trying to log into. All right, that. What are the techniques, reference codes for a logon failure? All right, this is the logon failure right here. T. Let's, let's close this up. We have T one zero seven eight. It says select two. All right, let's click on this T one zero seven eight. Oh, actually, hold on. We're looking at the wrong thing, aren't we? I'm gonna go back. We're looking at successes. We need to look at failures. We're gonna go back to security events and we need to look at the failures, which is this. 
All right, it's T1078 and T1531. Those are the log on failures techniques. Score that, it says delete this, close the window, leave that open. All right, cool, we're gonna refresh, remove that, and we're gonna go on to the next section. All right, we already conducted the attacks, we detected them, we're gonna do some more. Right, we did the password attack, we, did, we were able to detect it inside of Wazoo, and we also tried to authenticate to a file share, and we detected it with Wazoo. We're gonna do another thing, we're gonna go ahead and clear logs. If someone were to try to clear the logs, remember Windows, you're storing your logs in the event log. If somebody would try to clear those logs, you would want to be able to detect that. You want to be notified that the event logs were clear, where that's something that we can send over to Wazoo or can be detected inside of Wazoo, is that your event logs were clear. So what we're gonna do over here is gonna be pretty straightforward. What we're gonna do, once this box opens up, we're gonna log in. And then we're gonna go and clear the event logs out of our event viewer. So we're just gonna search for the event viewer. All right, this is something an attacker would do. All right, this is something an attacker would do. Why would they do that? Drop that in the comment section below. Why would an attacker clear their event logs? Let's drop down to security, Windows logs and security, and then we're gonna select this button to clear logs. and just clear. There we go. Don't save and clear, just clear it. We're gonna go back to the Kali machine. We're gonna refresh. If I could find the refresh button. I'm just gonna restart it. And we're gonna look for 63103. 63103, hit enter. This is the rule ID for cleared logs. You can see it right here, the audit logs was cleared. This is a level five severity. You saw those log off, this lo fail, the uh, failed log offs. I think those were level three, but they weren't level five, right? Level five severity, your logs were cleared. Look at the tactic that it's attributing to this, a defense evasion which it pretty much is. You're trying to remain anonymous. You're trying to clear your tracks. All right. Says, what is this description for the security alert for clearing the logs? What is the description? The audit log was cleared. Boom, next. Let's go to our questions. What sources can be used by Wazoo to detect suspicious activity? All of these can be used. All of your logs can be used to detect suspicious activity. What was the MITRE attack identified by Wazoo related to the deletion of a log? It was defense evasion, right? We still have it up right here. The phase of an incident response plan that creates a record of events to notify the security personnel about violation is detection, right? This is detection, right? You are notifying somebody or something that an event has happened. Once the security team is made aware of potentially violating an incident, what is the next plan phase in the incident response process, analysis, right? We're gonna analyze it, right? We're also gonna contain that situation as well, right? We're also gonna contain it. All right, potential signs of security breaches or malicious activities within an IT infrastructure are known as IOCs. This is evidence that you have been, or potentially have been compromised. That is it, y'all. This was a pretty cool lab. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool lab to do some incident response. What we did here, for the most part, was identify malicious activity. We used a tool called Wazoo to, to identify whether something was happening or not, right? And it's good that we tested it out first. We tested it out so that maybe you want to implement this into production, right? We'll test it out in development to make sure that the application is working for us, make sure that it's not producing false positives, make sure that it's producing a high number of true positives. Right, and we tested it out with throughout in different strategies. Right, first we did the password attack against the user account, then we did we tried to authenticate into the file share, and then we cleared the logs. That's it. If y'all enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, tell a friend to tell a friend that O line security is the place to come and learn. Let's get it, y'all. Y'all have a good one. Peace.